60. 60? Wow! Most torque! <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we are going to check which wheel has the most torque. Later on, we will also have a monster to compare against a 14, 16, and 18, or some say 19 inch wheel. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. And also, huge, huge thanks to Chadek and Bogdan. It's awesome to have friends around in the city, wheel friends, that will help you out in the name of wheel science. I wanted to do this video for a long time already, but recently I was watching a stream by The Black Cobra, you should definitely check his channel out as well, and Marty was on his stream from Electric Unicycles. And <laughs> we have a small discussion or disagreement uh, with which wheel has the most torque and today we are going to find out which it is so this ain't gonna be a you know stress test for overheating but today is still pretty warm this is just to see which wheel with a 75 kilogram heavy rider can climb the steepest hill usually it's just like you know three to four meters and we'll start with a 25 grade steep hill let's do it and we'll also make no run-up 25 this is a grade of 23 or 25 degrees so let's do it and now i'll also try to stop in the middle and start again to see if i really have that much torque I can feel the wheel struggling a bit but it still can climb 25 degree hills I can also try to overpower it it's relatively simple so now let's move on to the 16 inch wheel take off way Nikola 100 volt Nikola plus okay so again no run up definitely needs more force to do it but I feel a lot more torque. Now, same thing, I stop in the middle and start climbing again. And I think it's fair to say that I feel that the Nikola has more torque, but again, both wheels did climb up the hill. Now let's move on to the MSP, not MSS, MSP. So it should be the torquiest wheel of the bunch. Once again, no run up. I feel a little bit more power reserve, but might be a bit more difficult than on the Nikola, but it definitely has the torque. The power pads do help as well. And once again, I'll do the same thing and stop in the middle. So let's go. Okay, so now we will throw in the MSS for good measure. for the monster and this is also the monster um, V3 with the 2000 watt nominal power motor so the same as the MSX but 100 volt and once again we'll stop in the middle
definitely Monster is also strong, but definitely not, not as good as MSP or MSS. But you know, 23 degrees is a bit too easy. So let's go and check out 30 and 35. This is a 30 degree hill. That's where I feel the more most torque. of grip on the monster here. And now I will try to stall in the middle once again. I think it has definitely more power than Nikola and M MCM5, but less than MSP and MSS. And actually, Ch Chadek just told me and the watts used in the MSP was around 7,000 watts and in the Nikola was around 13,000. 13, 13, so way more power was used in the Nikola to climb than on the MSP. Easy! All right, so this is around 35 degrees, I think 33 or 35. And yeah, we, we'll just take the wheels and see how it goes. Number one. MCM5. And if you could just stand on the side here. in the middle but I I don't know I feel like it's the edge of the wheel but you know it did it so I'm pretty amazed that I was overpowering it, right? Did you see it? 
Is that it? Was I yeah. Open? Yeah. It was like. Yes, sure. Of course. Maybe just once more a bit closer. Okay. So it can do it, but barely, 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 barely. So let's try the Nicola now. <laughs> and fair enough, the Nikola can do it, but it's overpowering too. So let's try just once more and stress the wheel a bit more. So surprisingly enough, I think that the climbing possibilities of the Nikola and the MCM5 are very similar actually, because they were both overpowering, maybe even the Nikola a bit more. But now, let's move on to the MSP. I would go down on it, but it's not my wheel, so I don't want to risk it. And here you can see that I wasn't overpowering the MSP at all. I can try once more. Okay, so now MSS up the 35 degree hill. Definitely a lot of torque. I know, similar to MSP, maybe a tiny, tiny bit less. Turn up the monster. Be careful. It's the first time, but first time here. Quite hard, but because I don't have any side pads, but I'll try. I'll try like this, maybe. sure if I'm over, overpowering more than the MCM5 because the tire started losing grip but yeah monster can go up here as well I just don't have enough grip on the tire that's the issue So I think it's clear to see that the climbing abilities depend on the diameter of your wheel but I think they also depend even more on your battery capacity and the power of the motor. The MSP has 2500 watts nominal power, the MCM5 has 1500 and the Nikola has 1900 watts of power. And the second thing is naturally weight. MTM5 is lighter than the Nikola and the voltage does play a part too, but from my prior testing, I didn't see a big difference between the 84 volt Nikola and the 100 volt Nikola. So 
after these tests, I think it's clear to conclude that the MSP is the best wheel of the bunch to climb, to climb hills. So guys, if I have to classify the wheels in terms of hill climbing performance, number one, Goway MSP. Number two, Goway MSS. Number three, Goway Monster. Number four, Goway MCM5. Number five, Gotway Nicola. And the, when we're talking about the wheels that we were testing today. Okay. We need to uh, record uh, some, somebody else. We need to record Bogdan. This one. We need to record you. Uh, me? Pia? Yeah? No. No. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> And maybe one more thing that I would like to add in this comparison is that smaller wheels are usually easier to accelerate with and lighter wheels accelerate faster or are easier to climb with as well. But this doesn't mean that the torque or the power of smaller wheels is superior than bigger wheels. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.